Website credibility is a user's perceived experience of a site's information or layout and features. Credibility can refer to the actual content on the site, the site itself and its functionality, or the sponsored messages within the site. It's important for designers to discuss how credibility will be achieved in a site design, whether through security seals, professional content, recommendations, effective design, etc. Many people are aware and suspicious of fraudulent websites, scams, viruses, and identity theft. It's important to convey to your user that your site is credible and safe. There has been considerable research in the field of website credibility because it is serious business. For example, LaRoss and Rafon in 2007 found that participants in their study were significantly more likely to disclose personal information on a website containing privacy seal than a site lacking a seal. Let's discuss what other researchers have found. Researchers Flanagan and Metzger found that website expertise may be reflected in site informativeness, the display of the appropriate credentials, or the site's sponsor's reputation. Trustworthiness may be communicated through explicit policy statements or a lack of commercial content and attractiveness or dynamism may be communicated through various dimensions of the website's appearance, e.g. layout, graphics, font, color. Similarly, researchers Docterman and Stamp determined in their research the 12 factors of website credibility, which are authority, page layout, site motive, the URL address, cross-checkability, user motive, content, date, professionalism, site familiarity, process, and personal beliefs. Page layout seems to be a big consideration in terms of site credibility. Dr. Men and Stamp found that research participants expressed that the page layout was commonly a source of credibility loss. If the page was perceived as well laid out, that did not make the, the information more believable. But if the page was poorly laid out, then the information was seen as less believable. When we speak of page layout, we are speaking of the structural elements of the page. Researchers Reigns and Carmichael found that structural features of websites include the name of the organization operating or sponsoring the website, images, third-party endorsements, a physical address or telephone number, privacy policy statement, links to external websites, and the navigation menu. As we can see, a considerable amount of time must be devoted to the development of the site's content and layout for credibility to be achieved. The most extensive and well-researched list of web credibility guidelines I found is from Stanford's Persuasive Technology Lab. What follows are Stanford's guidelines for credibility. Number one, make it easy to verify the accuracy of the information on your site. Number two, show that there's a real organization behind your site. The easiest way to do this is by listing a physical address. Number three, highlight the expertise in your organization and in the content and services you provide. Number four, show that honest and trustworthy people stand behind your site. Number five, make it easy to contact you. Number six, design your site so it looks professional or is appropriate for your purpose. Number seven, make your site easy to use and useful. Number eight, update your site's content often, at least to show it's been reviewed recently. Number nine, use restraint with any promotional content like ads and offers. Number 10, avoid errors of all types, no matter how small they seem. Similarly, blogger Dustin Wax gives great advice on increasing website credibility when he states, a large archive of consistent activity on any blog network will go a long way towards easing any doubts about you. Answer questions quickly and to the best of your abilities. One impressed contact can easily multiply into tens or hundreds of new followers, readers, and fans as word spreads of your expertise. Participate in your website and be professional. Clearly, website credibility is a vital consideration for designers to enhance the user experience. I hope this presentation has given you some ideas on how to improve credibility on your own sites and recognize the credibility in sites that you use daily. Thank you.